Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Coming at you from Dangerfield State Park in East Texas. Dangerfield is a relatively small park. Right, and the end of the summer here, we're just hitting several state parks that are in East Texas, Piney Woods of East Texas. It's a gorgeous area. It's one of the prettiest parts of the state. Really. And so we'd taken several long trips and yes. decided this would be a really nice way to end the, uh, the, the summer. But we wanted to give you a sampling of some of the campsites. You can tell there are a number that are large enough for RVs, yes. but there are also a number that are not. Yes. They're either too short or they're just going to be almost impossible to level left yes. to right or front to back. But. Uh, there are certainly a number that will accommodate large RVs and obviously a lot more that will accommodate smaller RVs. In this park, you have the choice of water only or full hookups. And do, there are several different loops um, and you're usually not right on top of the um, campsite that's right next to you. This is the premium. Uh, this is a premium. They have a lake view. Um, they're five dollars more, I believe. But they are nice. You can see the lake and um, but there are also a lot of nice sites. Yes. Where you you know that you're just there's a path that goes around the lake. So you're not far from the lake from no. any of the campsites. Um, and we're gonna show you a sampling of that path here in just a minute. But it is a beautiful, beautiful park. The odd thing to me was these water-only sites, which are the least expensive. Now, granted, but you still, it's just tents. So yes. you wouldn't think they would be right on top of each other. But they are. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is. this is more like a group area yes. rather, or overflow. But they do have that available. So if you get here and we're looking for something. This is a great little trail coming up. Right. This is the short one that looped back around to the loop that we were in. And right. I can't remember what the name of that one was. But um, anyway, it's a gorgeous path. And it wasn't strenuous and well-maintained. And um, then there's this is the path I was talking about that goes around the lake. Yes. And you can see the lake. Yes. And um, it has several bridges and stuff yes. that didn't get down that far. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the fly on the lens there. Um, but, uh, anyway, the, the lake is just there. And then there was the Little Pines General Store. It's the State Park Store. They've got ice and, and T-shirts and stuff. and stuff like that. But they had this big pavilion area, and we went back on Saturday, and this was being used for a family reunion. There is a dining hall at the opposite end from the store. And this um, has a jukebox. It can be, uh, they have dances there on Saturday nights. But this whole area on Saturday, the sun was shining, and this lots is a swim and area. Lots and lots. Yeah, that's a swim pier out there that you can swim out to. And lots of people here. Lots of people with uh, various types of flotation things. And there were a lot of people, but it didn't feel crowded. No. Uh, two different family reunions. One had the pavilion. Another one had a big group of uh, picnic tables and stuff out there. And it was just fun. Uh, family atmosphere yes. and that's part there's a path that goes off down around the lake on that side but just really a lot of fun and if you haven't camped in texas state parks uh there's no you can't have alcoholic beverages showing and yeah. so it cuts down on drunkenness they do have a couple of cabins and then this is a group lodge now the town of dangerfield if you're coming in from 30, there is a low clearance. It's 13.7. Uh, when I saw some 18 wheelers go under it, I thought, okay, I can make it. But the town is just a pretty, quaint, small town. Yes. Uh, friendly. I think um, folks the, wave. It's just friendly. Yeah. The the time that we were driving around was obviously after hours. Um 
by the time we made it into town this is just a little loop so you're going to see that train track again here in a second but just to give you an idea it is a pretty small town and it is just a small town feel and so um this just gives you a little bit of an idea of what the town looks like and um it was just a lot of fun to go in and they don't have big superstores but they do no. have like dollar general things like that and a cafe or so and there was a stranger waving to us and they also have this pretty little park so as we are getting ready to leave dangerfield state park um the dogs may knock the camera over but that's just what happens so we're getting ready to leave um it is beautiful a, park this is part of our east texas into the summer tour yes and uh, we chose it because texas is divided into several different regions yes and depending on your preferences ours we like trees and things and so east texas is pretty hill country is pretty yes uh but we decided that we wanted to hit a few state parks we'd made some long trips this summer and it has been freakishly cool until this morning yes <laughs> it has been freakishly cool um i mean we've slept with the windows open and this is the first week in august and we're in texas and that's just unheard of yeah it's not going to happen tonight i can tell that already but uh but it has been and the trails are really nice here beautiful trails and the swimming area is phenomenal yes town of danger field is cute well, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the swimming area. Sorry. <laughs> we we went and um, it's they ha it's beautiful the way they have it all set up and everything. And we were just shocked at how clear it was. I mean, we yeah. swam in a lot of lakes. Yes. And uh, just Almost shocked. Almost as clear as Balmaria. And we, we were talking about that. And then when we, ha we stopped in the park store, the girl there told us it is spring fed. And saying that, it's... The swimming area where we were is, yeah, it was cool and it was refreshing, but it wasn't bitterly cold like Balmaria. No. Uh, but she said there are parts of the of the lake that are. And so, uh, but that was, it was really nice. Um, yes. And when we went down, I don't remember, the first night we got here, it was neat. That, that whole area down there was lots of families with picnics and little kids and uh it was just really you nice. need to know particularly if you have little kids that swim without a life vest there are steps that go down that last step is a doozy <laughs> <laughs> yeah but if you have little kids i'm assuming they're gonna have drops about three life feet, vests but yeah um i think the shallowest part was probably around three f oh and a half feet or so maybe four three and a half because uh, it, it was. Well, yeah. This was a foot, yeah. so yeah, it was. It was a little bit more than that, but uh, a little bit shallower than that. But anyway, that was fun. Um, the town of, of Dangerfield is quaint. Yes. Um, not all of our video of the town turned out. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll show you a little bit of that um, somewhere around here. Um, but anyway, it's. Uh, and one other thing, it kind of freaked us out. The f we stopped here, actually the three parks we're doing on an end of the summer tour are three parks that we just hadn't really given a, a good chance. No. And uh, we'd spent one night here on our way back a couple of years ago and we're just exhausted. At the end of a exhausted. 10 day trip. Or and anyway, and it was on the weekend and so yes. we decided to come back. But as we were pulling in, they they had signs on the highway that said low underpass and we're thinking oh great we're pulling a fifth wheel and uh but the, i think it was 137 yes and so i was a little concerned and then i saw uh an 18 wheeler go under it and i thought okay if he can make it i can but just just be aware that yes. that is there uh to, if you're coming down from 30. yes but uh the parks are fun the paths are fun beautiful park um, several different loops that you can choose from and uh, they are water only or full hookups <laughs> and one other thing about the campsites uh, just a reminder that uh, not all of them are conducive to large RVs uh, not all of them are conducive to RVs I mean some of them they're really not level one way or the other 
but there are a number that are. Yes. And so uh, don't want to discourage you, but just to let you know that, that there are some that it would be really difficult to, yes. to try and level an RV. So, But anyway, it's fun, and um, we're going to hit the next leg of our East oh, Texas tour. we did do tour, some so. fishing. We did. They do have a fishing pier here. And, and the ducks joined us. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, it was a little strange. We heard this... We heard someone walking on the uh, <laughs> on the fishing pier out and <laughs> turn around, and there's this duck just kind of you know, waddling on out there for us. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was like she said, it was a very cool overcast for much of the yes. time we were here, and uh, decided that since the water was cool, it wasn't cold, that going swimming and then getting out when the air temperature was cool was Ooh. wasn't going to be that great. So anyway, it was fun and. Um, did you discover your feet? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers. <laughs>